Hey again, everybody. Welcome back to Idaho Voyager. On this episode, wanted to go over some additional exterior accessories for our Palomino Solaire 202RB travel trailer. Now, this campground doesn't have any hookups, which means no power, water, or sewer, so we have to bring our own power. And for that, uh, we went with a generator. And so the generator allows us to run the microwave, the air conditioner, and some other utilities inside the coach. And our generator is a Champion 4000 watt digital hybrid, which is an open frame inverter. Now what that means is this is a quieter generator, so it doesn't make quite as much noise as those typical generators you see on construction sites. And this one is what's called an open frame which makes it more affordable. And we thought this was a great value. A lot of the traditional inverter generators that are designed to be quiet have an enclosed insulated box that it comes in to make it quieter. This one is an open frame, so it's not quite as quiet, but we thought this was a nice um, kind of middle ground. Typically an inverter generator will cost you over a thousand dollars and we picked this up on Amazon for a little bit less than five hundred dollars and it's very effective. Now one really nice feature about this generator is the economy or eco mode and basically what that means is eco is a lot quieter and much more efficient in terms of the fuel consumption but it's not going to give you an, quite as much power and we found that eco is is really suitable for most all of our needs like the toaster, coffee machine, DVD player, etc. But if we do want to run the air conditioner, which uh, sucks of course a lot more power, we'll turn economy off and that'll give us more power that can run the air conditioner. The one downside is if you have economy turned off, it is going to be quite a bit louder um, and so that's a really nice feature allowing us to go really quiet eco mode for most of the things that we need this generator for. So here is the noise comparison. This is a full blast on non-eco and now I'm going to switch it to eco mode. So you can see how much quieter that is. Moving to the front of the coach now, and I wanna draw your attention to the hitch here, and uh, the tongue jack is a power jack. Now that's pretty much uh, a mandatory piece of equipment, especially if you have a little bit heavier trailer. And basically this jack is, just as the name implies, it's uh, electric, so it's gonna, you don't have to crank it, it's power, you can retract or extend the jack here all the controls here it also has a nice light which is very nice so um, definitely a nice feature and for the uh, tongue jack because it is electric uh, i did get this cover to protect it from the elements and it is by a company called trailer sphere again got it on amazon and it has a nice plastic window here for the controls. Also has some really nice features. It has a place to hang your safety chain so they're not dragging on the ground. Also, a nice little pocket here for your seven pin connector that attaches to your truck. And that really keeps it away from the elements, which is nice. And then finally, this cover comes with a little loop here to put a little lock on there uh, just for a little extra protection to keep any curious folks in your campsite from uh, swiping this very easily so really nice addition to our power tongue jack moving around the exterior of the coach you're going to notice these yellow plastic squares around the coach these are called leveling blocks. They're from a company called Camco, which produces a lot of camping equipment. And basically these are like Lego blocks in effect. They're very functional. You can move them around, stack them. And there's uh, a couple of primary applications. One is to lift the camper on a given side to help level the camper. So we drive onto those blocks if we're a little low. We also use them here 
since the camper had to be lifted on this side, the steps didn't quite reach the ground. So we use them here to help stabilize the steps. And then we also use them on the scissor jacks. These are stabilizing scissor jacks, which we put down to the ground to make sure that the camper is not wobbly. It helps stabilize it. And those leveling blocks help extend the ground up, if you will, so the scissor jacks don't have to open nearly as far. And then finally, we use it on the hitch to put the hitch down uh, so that way the hitch doesn't have to extend quite as far so they're very useful a very important part of the setup for a travel trailer is to make sure that the trailer is secure and is not going to be rolling or moving and for that you want to make sure to have chocks and we have the traditional chalk that goes between the tires that little uh, metal red piece has a little bit of a swivel. So you lock it down with your foot and those two brakes, if you will, go up against the tire. So that helps the trailer from moving back and forth. And then in addition, we have these X chocks that are like little scissor expansive doohickeys with a little crank at the top. And so I put those in between the tires and then with a wrench, I can extend them out and it applies pressure to both tires. So that helps further stabilize the coach when we're inside from any rocking back and forth. So it really makes it rock solid and it also has the safety that you need in terms of keeping everything stable. All right, that'll do it for this episode of Idaho Voyager. Thanks for watching and if you enjoy the content, please make sure to subscribe today.